Hello, today I'm going to talk about this book that's called Mr. Stink. And, I'm, uh, and the author for this book is called David Walliams. And I'm going to read the text back here, then I'm going to talk about this book. Chloe is just about the loneliest girl in the world, but then she meets Mr. Stink, the local tramp. Yes, he smells a bit, but he's the only person who's ever been nice to her. So when Mr. Stink needs a place to stay, Chloe decides to hide him in the garden shed. And now I'm going to talk about this book. And I'm going to say the three first words, and you're going to know why I'm going to say the three three first words uh, words in the uh, when uh, the book is uh, done mr stink stank that was the three first words of this book and you're going to know why i said it uh, when i have talked about the whole book but now i'm going to talk so it starts with it's a person called mr stink and he uh, smelled uh, very much and he just sat on a bench. One day he came to that town and just sat on a bench and just nobody know where he come from or who he was, but he just sat there. Uh, so then uh, many people is like uh, friendly to him and gives him like coins and uh, money and stuff, but nobody has uh, ever been like nice, nice, so talk to him. Uh, have like a conversation until uh, Chloe came uh, and Chloe she's a girl that uh, she uh, has her family uh, and she uh, wanted to talk uh, with uh, Mr. Stink or uh, everybody called him like Mr. Stink uh, they didn't know his real name so I'm going to say uh, Mr. Stink and Mr. Stink, he uh, talked to her, and uh, one day, so uh, when Chloe talked to him, she wanted to give him like a five pound that she uh, that she got from her auntie, and her family was like rich; they had ma uh, much money. So then she wanted to give her five pounds to him, uh, and he did not accept it. He didn't wanted it said it's okay i don't need it and when chloe is go uh, going to go home she also a uh, question uh, mr stink a question about why he does not live uh, like in a norm uh, like in a house and just sits on the bench and he says it's a long story maybe one day i'm going to tell you so then uh, chloe uh, is going to go home uh, and then Mr. Sting says, what is that on your uh, back? And it says, it's like a paper that says, loser. And then she says, uh, Chloe, it's, it, it's maybe, or I think it is, that it's my bully in the school. And uh, someone in the school bullies her. So then uh, Mr. Sting says, don't let people bully you. Uh, and she says, okay, I'm going to, uh, like, try. Uh, so then uh, she said, I'm going to go to the store. Uh, do you want something from the store? And he says, I, uh, the only thing I want is sausages. Uh, so meaty sausages. And then when he gets them, Chloe goes and buys and gives them to him. And he uh, says, thanks, and he eats. Uh, eats and he eats like a, a she Chloe did not think that he ate like that he like took a plate and took uh, like a uh, thing that you uh, eat and just eat it uh, like that and he took also like a napkin and put it around here uh, like on his chin and like that I have uh, I uh, have Oh, I have not done that one time in like my whole life eaten like that so uh, so much like that uh, but he ate it like that like it was nothing uh, so then he asked uh, is there more sausages and she says uh, I'm sorry that's uh, I we don't have any more uh, so um, more sausages uh, so then uh, Chloe and she goes and talks to him, 
but one day she needs to go home quick. She has a uh, math thing and she says one chocolate bar I can go and buy. So she goes and buys the chocolate bar, but uh, then when she comes home and she's doing her math, she does not do her math. She writes like a story down and when her uh, mother saw that, uh, her mother got very, very angry and took the math book and just uh, took it to pieces and just put it in the bin and said, uh, got very angry with Chloe. Uh, and then Chloe uh, got sad because uh, she, uh, she didn't want uh, her mother to like rip the book like that. Uh, but then uh, she did it and uh, at last it's the uh, Christmas holiday but she has no friends in her school so she has no one to like text uh, on social media like that Facebook nothing like that so then uh, she goes to talk with Mr. Stink and one day they go, they go into Starbucks and then the uh, person that works at Starbucks says Everybody go out! <laughs> so, uh, uh, so how, how I said, uh, everybody go out because the smell was very, very bad from Mr. Stink. So then they uh, drink the coffee for free, but Mr. Stink uh, wanted uh, to give like coins, so he put the coins uh, where you uh, like give uh, coins and like that. Uh, so then he gave it, it uh, like just put it there so when they come back in uh, they can take it. Uh, but then Chloe uh, asks if he wants to live in their shed and he says uh, okay. So he wanted to uh, stay there and when he stayed there Chloe could just go and uh, talk to him. And one day he wanted to have food. Uh, but that day, her mother, wa uh, her mother wanted to be president, so uh, a president of the town or the town. So then, uh, a person came interviewing her, uh, talked to her like, uh, "What are your plans about it? How are you going to do to make uh, more people uh, want you to be the prime minister?" So then she says things, she says like things, but then uh, Mr. Stinks, uh, Stink comes and knocks on the uh, window and uh, then this person interviewing her mom thinks, oh, uh, she wants to, uh, that every tramp uh, is going to uh, go to someone to live there. And she went with that idea that he thinked it, but it was not true that it was like that. And her mom, or her mother, Chloe's mother, is going to go to a like, political place where you have like political talking about things. And Mr. Stink also come. And Mr. Stink made it like boring political show to an, a, com a comedy show and made everybody laugh and they, everybody wanted him to be president or prime minister and he also embarrassed her mother, a, a Chloe's mother in front of everybody and then Mr. Stink, everybody said like Mr. Stink, we want you to be the prime minister so he got uh, very glad and said like, thank you, thank you, that they uh, want it, but he does not want to be like prime minister. Uh, so then Mr. Stink uh, is like staying there, uh, uh, but he wants to uh, go. Uh, and then when she found that her mother became nicer to uh, Mr. Stink and to Chloe, because Chloe wanted to go, uh, she wa Chloe wanted to uh, go with uh, Mr. Stink because he's going to go to a, a wander uh, to other places. So then she wanted to come with him, but then he made her mother uh, ma uh, feel sorry for her. So she said, like, I'm sorry for everything that I was uh, mean to you and like that. And she says that she really actually, uh, actually really loved uh, so uh, Chloe, uh, so then Chloe uh, said, I'm going to stay 
but uh, Mr. Stink, he was actually a like Lord, uh, and I don't remember what he, his name was, but Lord D something. Uh, so then, uh, when his mom, uh, when Chloe's mom found out that, then she wanted uh, to him, Mr. Stink to stay, but Mr. Mr. Stink said, no, I want to go uh, wander. So Mr. Stink goes and you, have, you can never see him anymore. Uh, so you did not, uh, Chloe did not, or Chloe did see him for the last time uh, for, uh, for a life, uh, or maybe for a life that didn't say in the book. But then uh, Chloe is starting to write a new book that's called Me, uh, The t Three uh, Last Worlds, uh, Words. She's uh, the three first words in her story was Mr. Stink Stank. And maybe you know why I said the three first words. So Chloe has actually written it, uh, this book or um, uh, uh, it's like Chloe has written this book. And that was actually all for this book that was called Mr. Stink. And uh, uh, I, this book is very good, very interesting. I recommend it very, very much. And my best character for this book is Mr. Stink and Chloe. And my next book is a Swedish book, I think. And bye-bye!